Hello YouTube, what is going on? CaptainNick88 here, and in this video guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a swirl in uh, Panzoid Clipmaker 2. So, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so here we go. And, um, it, this, uh, the shape that I'm going to be using is actually going to be a custom shape from my, um, my 2D, my 2D pack. So, um, I'm pretty sure I have the shape in the pack. If I don't, then um, I'm pretty sure I included some form of a swirl in there. Um, but you can always create your own uh, by watching the previous video. Um, I teach you how to create a shape with a transparent background, how to import it into Panzoid, so you can create your own swirl using that. Um, but let's just let's just go straight into this. Ready? So first off, I gotta click F5 because then it won't let me play. So there we go. Now it's now. It's, now it's a work. And do we have one of these templates right here? Are any of these ours? Nope. Panzoid's broken then. Just kidding. Uh, I'm sure these are all, all awesome templates right here. Uh, an outro right there. Yeah. So first what you're going to do is you're going to set the... Um, you're going to create whatever the heck you're going to make. And in this case, uh, it's a square. So I'm going to be using a square for this demonstration. Um, let me adjust my microphone real quick. Um, we're gonna go to my 2D pad. Uh, yeah. Go to my swirls and um, I believe it's version five. Yep. Here we go. So there, there you have it. Um, now what's important about my swirls that I create is no matter wh how you change the um the width or the uh ask like the I don't, I don't know the dimensions of the shape it'll always connect to the center so that is one of the best features because um it'll always line up so that is super super cool so the step that you want to take is you want to make sure that as you rotate it see there's no black right there you want to make sure that it it is perfect at all um at all points and as you can see, we did it right there. So it's 168 by 168 for this specific um, swirl. Okay, and next you're gonna go to the transparency and you're gonna turn that on because my shapes have transparent um, backgrounds in them or whatever. And then you can go to group, you can go type in the word swirl. Now, the big key about creating a swirl in Panzoid is and how you animate the shapes before and how you animate the shapes after the swirl. Okay, there's a lot of um, behind the scenes, um, like using shutters, for example. You have to make sure that the shutter um, opens up. You have to 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 show it. You got to make sure that you have um, a shutter that closes it. Um, this way, you can keyframe uh, keyframe it off. This way, it's actually out of the intro, and then you have to turn shutters back on. It's really complicated. I'll show you guys how to do most of it in this video, but here you go. You just want to create a group and keep duplicating this image, and uh, this is how I like to show it. Just create. You could change the color uh, really, really easily. Okay, in this in this video, I'm going to be using like a bluish color, a little bit brighter, yeah, like that. This is the color that I'm going to use. And all you have to do is just duplicate it like this. Um, I'll show you some of the problems that actually occur while you're doing this because it can be pretty problematic and it will look really strange. Um, I haven't found a way yet to um, make it so that um, this problem goes away and that everything is perfect. but. Um, I know that there are some little small tips here and there to make it so that um, everything looks even, even though it really won't. And this is one. See, this is one of the big problems because um, now the last one is white, and it will be really, really close. So now you have to start uh, thinking how you want to do that, how you want to like finish it up. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring this over a little bit. Um, I'm just going to have it overlay slightly. This way I can um, try to hide the um, 
that giant difference and just by having them slightly different because I'm eyeballing this right now by having them slightly different on each one it's gonna look a little bit more um, less noticeable um, at, at the end see now we can duplicate this one again um, and then we can kinda go like that and then we can duplicate the white one and then drag it there -ish. I think that all do and I'm gonna make this white this way you don't see the little thing there and then let's finish with a blue right there I'm trying to make it as not noticeable as possible now it, it, it is pretty difficult and it, it takes some time to learn how to do it but that looks pretty good so I like that um, we're gonna go to this bottom one and we're gonna change the color to the that's not gonna work Wow we're gonna make it black I guess we don't really have much of a choice so you can tell that they're kinda overlaying a little bit over there but uh, it's it's a problem that you won't really notice at at the end so let's that's just there and let's close the, that's okay so this is the best we're gonna do so next what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag all these swirls into your swirl folder it's important to have a folder because it gets really uh, messy and this next step is pretty pretty self-explanatory you're gonna go to about 20 seconds um, and you're gonna go to rotation okay um, so 20 and then let's say you want the swirl to go for 60 um, you want to make sure that the swirl goes in the correct direction um, which would be negative uh, for this one in particular and I'm gonna say 270 which looks pretty good you can add some pretty cool like like that if you really wanted to or what you could do is you can do you can do quadratic in here for negative 90 right and then you can have it uh, maintain that that uh, really high uh, velocity I guess or if you if you can I guess this it's, it's hard sometimes um, that looks pretty good um, and if you really look at it as it spins you can kinda see the different circles because each of these um, it, it, I don't know it kinda creates like a nice circle effect it makes it look like a spiral um, or swirl my bad not a spiral spirals are different I'll show you guys how to do spirals probably next week um, that seems about right so if it starts at 20 right what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna create a shutter okay or if you have animations in front of it that also works we're gonna go with radial because it is a spiral okay and that that's the key um, the key feature to the uh, the whole entire process so we're gonna go to opacity we're gonna set that to 30 this way I can kinda see what what I'm uh, what's happening in the background and what you can do is you can have it come here so at 18 you can have the cover right um, start to move this should actually be 0.5 because if it's 0.6 it's too much uh, 0.5 actually closes it um, and if you go above then it just kind of doesn't really do that much more actually it actually kind of makes things complicated so 0.5 closes it completely and uh, I would always go with 0.5 for you so we're gonna go two keyframes in front or it doesn't really matter you can play around with these settings however you want you can do quadratic out and you can set that to zero so it'll look like that right which kinda looks a little trippy this this right here looks is tripping me out see it's kinda like It kind of looks like it's going slow for some reason. Or oh, that's because I'm in the slow mode. But 
most of this is about keyframing as well so it, it really depends how you keyframe so there you have it and then let's say you want it so it goes it closes at 60 right so let's say you want to do um, something like that let's make it go 0.5 again like that maybe that's how you want to do it um, like that and then if you set the opacity to 1 you can really see what we're talking about so you can create like um, swirls like that um, I that's kinda like the best way to kind of explain how to actually do it because um, a lot of the time um, you're gonna have shapes coming in and out um, in front of it or behind it I should say I guess that kinda makes sense um, in front of it and then after it so you kinda want to it, it's hard to, to do the swirl but if you can put it in at the right time if you can uh, disable effects and enable effects at correct timing you can actually do pretty pretty well um, if let's say this is set to zero uh, if you wanted to make it so that this was zero as well um, let's say you wanted to have it come in you can you can do it um, it can be a little weird though um, as you can as you can tell um, but uh, you can get away with it and uh, yeah see because it's not a it's not like a circle it's kind of like sharp edges and that's one of the problems uh, associated um, with using a spiral but uh, I mean you can let's say you can create a circle you can you can do this um, and you can put it behind it so that you know it connects everything um, that looks a little weird though um, but let's say you do for some like you let's say you do that um, right um, then it would look something like this which that looks really good too because it, it looks like everything's together is moving forward um, that looks good as well so those were like basically two ways of how you could do a uh, swirl in Panzer Clipmaker 2. It is very complicated, so um, I don't expect you guys to get it the first time. But if you keep messing around with some settings and trying new things, um, I'm sure you guys will be able to get it down pat. And I'm definitely positive that some of you guys will be able to do it better than I am. Um, because this method is kind of it's it's decent it's not the best but if you guys can find better ways to create these spirals I am pretty positive that you guys can do it so if you guys enjoyed this video if this helped you guys make sure you guys drop a thumbs up um, other than that guys that's pretty much all I have to say I'm probably gonna get into a little bit more gaming uh, live streams um, just because now I have the power to um, record um, and play games at the same time without any problems I got a new processor, and the processor that I did get was an i7-8700K, and uh, it took me a couple days to figure out all the problems that were associated after I put everything together. But um, other than that, guys, uh, there's nothing much to say. So thank you guys for watching. Peace and bye-bye.